Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I tried to channel uh, an inner cautious beauty and fail miserably. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Shweta Vijay. Welcome to my space. If you are new, don't forget to hit that little red button and stick around. So I always wanted to start the series where I, you know, follow an established makeup influencer on YouTube and, you know, follow her tricks and trades, uh, you know, where her tutorial is concerned because I wanted to put myself on the other side of the camera, uh, just like you guys when you're viewing us, when you're seeing our makeup tutorial, just to see if it is challenging because it's really amazing to go and watch a lot of us influencers on YouTube but do we actually really practically follow them step by step so I wanted to see if it was challenging and I created this look which was her last makeup tutorial the golden hour uh, glowy makeup you know and I wanted why I took that makeup tutorial is because I have textured acne skin and I wanted to see if a girl like me can still follow her makeup tutorial and have that beautiful glow that she had she looked like a goddess. I've seen her personally. If you have any suggestion on who the next YouTuber should be that I should imitate their makeup tutorial, leave your suggestion in the comment section, guys. And let this be a fun series. Let there be no negativity. There's no comparison out here. They're all beautiful and lovely in their own rights. I'm just trying to uplift the brown skin community. So that is why I said Indian YouTubers. But if you have anyone else that you admire, then just leave your suggestions there. Let's make this a fun thing to do. So this is actually the new and improved Kiehl's hmm. powerful Since Kiehl is life, not uh, cruelty free, I am going to use, just let me pause range. that. Uh, since Kiehl is not cruelty free, I am going to be using the Ordinary. This is the Hyaluronic Acid, which I absolutely love, adore. You guys know how much I'm crazy about this. Uh, hyaluronic uh, acid, you need to apply it when your face is a little bit wet. It should never be on dry skin. So first I'm just going to uh, use the Urban Decay quickie fix that just went in my mouth right now and then I'm going to apply this hyaluronic serum on top of that make up a little bit of a concoction of foundations and illuminizers so first of all I'm going to take my Giorgio Armani luminous silk I am going to add a tiny 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 bit of my all hours foundation and to add a little bit of a glow to my foundation, I'm going to pop a little bit of the Iconic Illuminator Drops. And I'm going to take, I think, the Fenty Beauty. I'm in the shade 310. I'm also going to apply the All Nighter. I'm in the shade 7.0. And I'm going to apply my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Just for that glow that she's talking about. Ideally, for a person who's got textured skin, they shouldn't be having too much of a glow on their face. It's not very good. And one thing I know about Kaushal, because I did meet her, and what she did say is she loves mixing her foundation. So on the blog post, uh, I, I don't know whether I should do a video of it. Do let me know in the comment section what you guys would like to see. But definitely there's a blog post on the things that I have learned from Kaushal Beauty and uh, Shanu's uh, masterclass. You know, there's so many uh, tips and tricks I have learned from their masterclass. So if you want to read all about it, if you are bright to be because Kaushal plans to do her own makeup for her wedding, check out my website, shwetavijay.com. It's floating on the screen also at the moment. And I know for a fact that both of the both of the makeup artists loves mixing their foundation i am loving the combination of fenty beauty and this urban decay guys it's really really good it's giving me that proper full coverage i'm quite enjoying it actually but one thing that i love doing is i like taking the side of my beauty blender and really meshing that on to my skin and okay it any excess and it kind of massages all the rest into the skin and it makes it really seamless all right i usually use a stippling brush but this is pretty good i'm taking the extra out like i always do i am gonna go in with a cream contour this is my Laura Mercier contour kit. I'm gonna take a mixture of the contour shades and start cream contouring. And of course, blending all of those lines out to make sure that it's nice and like seamless in the skin. Okay, so let's start contouring because Kosha loves her contour. Uh, she's got a really uh, prominent contour. When you see her face to face, you can see that prominent contour. I'm taking the LA Girl Beautiful Bronze Pro Conceal Concealer. Sorry, I had to pause that because she's going a bit quickly. So I'm going to blend this because what she loves to do, she loves to 
put a cream contour first and on top of that she loves to put her bronzing powder uh, her powder contour basically so let's just blend this properly I do not like contour at all I love to bronze my face that's what I usually do so this is like that full like she said going full out on your contour on your makeup I'm gonna take my eraser eye concealer. This is actually the neutralizer shade, which I've been using quite a lot recently. I just find it quite brightening under the eyes and everywhere that I use it. So I'm just gonna apply this to the usual areas. I am just going to apply a bit of a fair tone concealer and that is from Lasting Perfection. This is from Collections. I just wanted to take that darkness away. Wow, okay, I look really white. Mm. let's blend that really really well I'm gonna set everything in place so I'm gonna use my Patrick Star powder to set underneath my eyes for bronzer I'm taking my trusty hula bronzer and I'm just gonna go over all those areas that we contoured I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless because I absolutely love this this is one of the best compact powders I have ever come across so beautifully finely milled that it has a tendency of minimizing your pores I'm using the Anastasia's their new powder bronzer in the shade saddle this has no orange tint to it and that's what I love very similar to what the hula bronzer is from benefit so we are going over the areas where we put the cream contour and it's such a beautiful bronzer it gives such a warmth to the face and a little goes a long way you guys so you need to be extremely light-handed with it and then for blush we are going to take this it's again a shimmery shade this is called crushed bloom and it's from nyx it's one of their it's actually a like highlighter shade like a flush of color and because this is shimmery it's gonna help add a bit of a glow back to the skin as well so i am taking the primark taboo blush which is very similar to what she's using from nyx and that has got a bit of a shimmer and i'm going to pat it like what she does she doesn't blend it she pats it so we're going for the highlight right now we have to go a little bit cray cray because it is golden hour so i'm going to take a little tiny tiny amount of the iconic London illuminator drops. I'm going to take some on the back of my hand. Uh, right now I have the Radiance uh, Whale. This is from Illamasqua. I'm just going to take, like she did, the Beauty Blender very slowly. I'm going to go very subtle with my highlighter because remember, textured skin. And just where she applied, I'm going to first apply it right here because since this is a golden hour makeup, Ah, nalla golden hour. There's no sun also over here. Uh, but I'm just going to apply some powder highlighter on top of that, okay? Highlight on top. Even though you don't really need it, but we are gonna go a little bit extra. Alright, let's go extra then. Slightly. Oh, because over this we're going to put our powder highlighter. She used I think a highlighter from Makeup Revolution. Uh, she had the palette. I am using the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. Let me just show you how it is. This is in the shade Golden Lights. It looks really white, but the moment you apply this on your skin, it gives you the golden tint required for the golden hour. Put that on to my cheekbones. Holy and crap. Amplifies the glow. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh my god, this is, this is a bit too much Koshal, pretty interesting, more than I bargained for, uh, this is not, like I said, I don't go for too much of a highlight or contour, let's get with the program and see what goes next in Koshal's face, okay, I don't think I should be extra glowy, so I'm just going to apply my Morphe setting spray, and she and I have the same eyebrow shape, thin, I'm using the Party Queen brunette eyebrow pencil. Almost like a charcoal black, so it gives me the most natural. I mean, I always reach out for this eyebrow pencil, no matter what. How many eyebrow pencils I have, I still reach out for this. So now the eyebrows are done. We are going to go for our eye makeup finally. And she used the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. Uh, I have a few brush that is already ready out here. And I have my Shade and Swap Makeup Color Swapper from W7. You get this even in Primark for about a pound or two. 
I've explained this so many times before guys all you need to do is take your brush and just rotate it and voila you get a clean brush move on to eyes very quickly we're just going to do a really bronzy glowy glittery eye yes all about that golden hour I very quickly primed and set me too eyelids. with the same Charlotte Tilbury so one I just put that over my eyelids I'm going to start off by using sandalwood all in my crease and really building up that color until I'm happy sandalwood and a level of depth going on right here on the crease line and blend it really well. Now to deepen up the crease, I'm going to add some of henna. Into henna the of to there, deepen up the crease. More of a 3D look to the eye. I'm just taking a clean, fluffy blending brush and making sure all of the colors are nice and blended into each other. It is looking like I have got a sunset going on on my eyes, which is exactly what I want. But now we're going to add some shimmer and I'm going to take the shade 24 Carat. Wait, gonna you're going too fast. So I put henna on the outer third right over here. I'm just taking a clean, fluffy blending brush and making sure all of the colors are nice and Me blended too. into each other. So I'm going to also take a uh, 24 Carat and I'm going to put it on areas where... Uh, there's no eyeshadow just like what she did I'm using my finger I'm not using the brush over here because with Huda Beauty's um, uh, with Huda Beauty's palette I feel that it works better the textured palette it works better with uh, your fingers I actually feel like it's looking a little bit too yellow so I'm going to take the yeah, shade same here. Up, which is from the Skinny Dip palette from so since she applied that Huda Beauty 24 karat and it was looking a little bit yellow which I uh, kind of agree uh, she did take like a shimmery almost like a silver shimmery eyeshadow from uh, called Skinny Dip from Jouer I don't have that so I'm taking Ozone from the Galaxy palette it's a, a you know high metallic uh, silver shimmery eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply that all over my she I muted is. the go. She went back to henna and she went back to cocoa and she just put that on the outer corner of her eye and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the moon dust right here. This pretty, that's, that's actually one of my favorite uh, shades from this palette and I'm also going to put that on the brow bone. Just smoked out my lower lash line. I popped a little bit of the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner in the brown shade mm. and then I smoked it out using sandalwood from the same Huda Beauty palette and then I did also apply some of Falsies and Mascara. If you're wondering, these Falsies are the Samantha Lashes from Huda Okay, so we have a lot of work to do with our eyes right now. Now we have to just smoke out the lower lash like she did. I'm using the sugar eye pencil. This is a stroke of genius heavy duty coal okay it's a very creamy black coal pencil hopefully this will stay for a very long time because i love my urban decay perversion taking a smudging brush i'm just going to take henna and i'm going to smoke that out as well okay so i applied the j lash eyelashes the caution use mahogany by mac a very beautiful dark brown it's almost borderline of brown and red i'm just going to use high standards by by NYX and Kosha loves mixing her lipsticks she used a very light lip okay she used uh, Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Darling which is a light peachy pink color which, which is kind of similar to Lacey Luck from Nykaa and this is my absolute favorite I did add a tiny bit of fortune cookie from Beauty Bakery on top just to nude it down a little bit more and just to nude the lip a little more I'm taking the Nykaa Jade Rose It's almost done. Let's see what her last step is. It has to be a lot of makeup setting spray. I'm going to use my all nighter spray and get a good mark. Back to my Morphe, which is my favorite. End of the tutorial. This is my ultimate kind of golden hour makeup look. <laughs> Finally, this look is complete, you guys. This was a long tutorial, okay? And I've got too many cosmetics in front of me. I can only imagine after she finishes her makeup tutorial, what is in front of her. It's a complete war zone right in front of me. And I tried to follow step by step what she was trying to say. I had a few things like the rose gold palette, which is similar to hers, but everything else I incorporated whatever I had. 
What I'm trying to prove with this makeup video is that we as influencers will tell you, okay, this is amazing, that is amazing, you need this makeup product, you need that, but what you have in hand, your basics, I mean, that is more than enough for you to complete a makeup look. Leave in the comment section what you'd like to see next. Who is the YouTuber, the next YouTuber that I should really follow? I'm thinking of following Mr. Jovita George next. And that's about it, guys. I shall see you very soon. And until later, bye for now.